What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Nimbus and as some of you might remember a company called I am 8-bit started releasing uh, Super Nintendo games or retro games right for their anniversary some of you guys remember that they released the Street Fighter, uh, Street Fighter 2 for the 30th anniversary. I did pick it up because as you guys know, I am a huge Street Fighter fan. So they decided to to make a, uh, to once again collab with Capcom and they released two versions of Mega Man games for the 35th anniversary and I got them both. So let's unbox it. Let's go. Now, I know some of you guys have heard of this already and knew that this was coming out. I did get this today uh, in the mail. I was anticipating this to come into the mail today. Uh, if you don't know which Mega Man games they released, they released Mega Man 2 on the NES and they released Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo. Uh, it They are official release because they, uh, they did have a, a partnership with Capcom to re-release re uh, this game. So, they're, they're not coming in this colors, they're coming in different colors. Uh, and yes, these are a little expensive. Um, a lot of people probably didn't want to get them. If you're not a real Mega Man fan, or you're not a retro fan or a collector, this might not be for you because each cartridge was a hundred dollars. And I ordered this like, I don't know, four or five months ago. Um, and if you're not a collector like that or a Mega Man fan like that, I can understand if you don't want to dish out $100 per cartridge because you can get these cartridges really cheap, like really, really, really cheap. Uh, so cheap that I got two copies of Mega Man 2. Like, you know, I have two copies of this game. I'm going to have a third one, but I'm not going to really use this. For me, uh, I've seen people buy it and play this these cartridges i don't know why they would do that uh me personally uh to me these are cartridges that you do not play this is uh, cartridges that you collect that's why i have my street fighter one in a plastic case because i don't plan to pull this out to play it it's a collector's piece so that's really the audience for this is whether you're a collector a retro collector or a huge mega man fan I can see you getting this and I can understand. And I can also understand why people do not want to get it because of the ridiculous price. But with that being said, let's pop this bad boy open. Uh, so the first thing that you notice when you get the box is you see the, the, the sticker here. It's literally the sticker of uh, Mega Man 2 for when you have to put in the password code. You see that? That's pretty cool. Small details, small details. I like that. I like that. Uh, like I said, I did order both, so hopefully, both of them are in this. The uh, both of them are in the box, and I'm not failing big time. Uh, I want to say both of them are in the box. I love the packaging. They did not package the Street Fighter one like this. With they did have small little details, but it says I am 8-bit throughout all the edging here, like all. Oh, throughout the edging here which is pretty cool so let's lift this out Ooh. receipt you guys don't need to see that uh, there's the Mega Man X one you see it let's pull it out uh, that's the Mega Man X we'll get to that in a minute and the Mega Man 2 here we go. Now, nothing else in the box. Let's put this aside. Um, each cartridge, uh, there was uh, 8,500 for each one. Now, what's special about this is that out of the 8,500, there were there 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 were there are a thousand of them for each one. There are special uh, color that glow in the dark, just like in the Street Fighter one. There was 500 of them, and out of that 500, there was a thousand that was a uh, uh, glow in the dark green. The original cartridge is a red cartridge. They call it Ryu Red, and then the green one they called it Blanca Green. 
and the green one glows in the dark. I didn't get the green one, I got the red one. I did order two of these, hopefully to get two of e uh, one of each, but that wasn't the case, I got two red ones. I ended up selling uh, my sec uh, the second one that I had to a friend of mine, because uh, he wanted it. So, let's get into this one. Uh, it does bother me that I'm gonna open them, <laughs> but I'm opening for you guys. I already ordered, you see how this has the plastic casing, right? I already ordered the plastic casing for each one of these. So I'm just waiting for it to come in, for I can put them in there. Like this one, I usually have displayed right, right here with my Street Fighter stuff. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna display these somewhere here with like my uh, Mega Man stuff, like probably my Mega Man Amiibos. I probably put it with it with this. Uh, so yeah, let's open this without ruining the packaging of the box. I don't want to ruin the box. That would be very very sad and angry now the reason why i'm opening like that because i'm pretty sure until i get the case like that i'm gonna put these right back in the plastic uh and if you guys don't see it says limited edition 500 and uh i mean 500 800 8500 says the same thing on over here the sticker says that uh so yeah Plastic doesn't want to come off. All right. Now it's basically the same box as the Street Fighter one. Uh, like it's embossed. Like you can feel the lettering, and the box is really high quality. Like back in the day, NES games didn't come in like the box didn't come in this quality. Like you could feel every. It's really nice. The 30th anniversary Mega Man right here. It's you could feel it here as well. And all the Mega Man you could feel. It's like it's really nice. Uh, and this you can open it up and there's like a poster there Which is cool because if you didn't want to put it in a case you could display it like this But I'm not gonna do that because I don't want this to get bent open like this forever. I want it to be closed So this is is Mega Man with all the eight uh, Robot masters from Mega Man 2 uh, and this is dope because well my favorite Mega Man game is Mega Man X of all time like I could play this over and over and over and over but uh, out of the original Mega Man game, my favorite, favorite Mega Man game is Mega Man 2 and then after that Mega Man 3. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to get this one as well. Uh, so now that we did that, let's open it. I want to open it really carefully. Oh, that's great. It just popped right open. Now, I want to see, are we going to see that it's yellow? It looks like there's a plastic for the actual game, which I will be leaving that there. Inside of the box is yellow. That's really cool. Again, NES boxes didn't come like this. It was like very plain. Uh, this is very, very high quality. Now let's hope, let's hope. Okay, if I got the regular cartridge, it's like a baby blue cartridge, but if I got the special one, it's like a translucent blue that supposedly goes in the dark. So let's see what I got. I have no idea. It looks, doesn't look like I got the special one. It looks like I got the regular baby blue. Yeah, I got the regular baby blue. That's okay. <laughs> so this is the cartridge right here. It's like, it's actually really good quality. It's really, really good quality. Same thing in the back. Doesn't literally, uh, clearly doesn't say uh, licensed by Nintendo. Like this one does in the back. It says Nintendo right here. This one says uh legacy cartridge collection which is what eight uh i am eight bit is doing uh hmm it's weird i'm not saying that this is bad quality because it really isn't it really isn't like it's a really good quality but i want to say that this feels a little lighter just the tad lighter but not to say that it's cheap plastic and that's why it's lighter no without a doubt this that, that's not what i'm trying to say this is done really well i like this a lot i love that it comes oh we have a manual we'll look at that in a minute it comes with a sleeve just like how nintendo used to do it back in the day uh which is really good it says again legacy cartridge collection in the front pins are clean clearly it's brand new so this is Pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Let's leave this. 
right here. Now the manual. The manual is your typical, I can't say this is the like identical to the Mega Man, uh, the old one, like from the NES, if this is. I don't know, I never actually seen it, to be honest with you. Uh, but the artwork is like that old school Mega Man artwork. I will be showing videos while I'm when I'm like showing them and I'm talking. Uh, so it looks like it shows all the eight masters, robot masters. It looks pretty cool. Strategy guide notes and who? Let's be honest. When back in the day, the people that remember the NES like that and getting your strategy, did you really write on this? I never did. I don't recall writing on my manuals. I got a piece of paper if I had to write a code or a password. Would not write on a manual. That just sucks. And let me tell you guys something. A lot of you young, uh, younger, younger guys, uh, you guys are not used to getting manuals in your games. I go nuts now when I get a game and it has a manual. That's why I love Nicalis, uh, because I go crazy when they put in a manual. So I love the fact that this thing came with a manual. Okay. Big time, I love it. So this is the Mega Man 2. I am not disappointed. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get the, the, the limited edition, the, I mean the limited one. But nonetheless, I am happy with it. I am super duper happy with this. So let's get to Mega Man X. Mega Man X, once again, is my favorite Mega Man game of all time so far. We'll see how Mega Man 11 is. Does not recall that I played the demo to Mega Man 11 and, you know, I didn't do so hot. And if you guys didn't see that video, I'll leave the link to that video down in the description down below. So you can see me lose badly in that game. But this is Mega Man X, not Mega Man 11. Mega Man 11 is not out yet. So, I don't really need to talk about it just yet. I want to open this very carefully. Like I said, I don't want to ruin the box because I... My friends will be very sad. Very, very, very sad. Okay, softly, softly. I have to tell you this right now. The plastic to this is a lot harder than the plastic to the NES, the Mega Man 2. That is for sure. Ooh. Ah, you know what? I can't save it. I wanted to like save it like the other one, but this plastic is a lot harder, rigier rigid whatever the word is okay <clears throat> oh poor box this really hurts to open this you collectors you guys understand me do not want to open things like this but i do it for you guys i open stuff like this even though i don't want to for you guys because I love you guys. So take this opportunity today. If you're not subscribed to me yet, subscribe now. Hit that subscribe button and join the Nimbus family. Because I do unboxing like this all the time. All the time. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes when I get stuff, you know. I don't get sponsorships. They don't send me anything. I buy all of this myself. So sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. It's basically the same fold out for like the, the Street Fighter one. Uh, one fold up here. You have Sigma on the top and like his last form in the bottom, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I still to this day, mind you, I could beat this game no problem. I could beat this game no problem. Like I've done it many times. I can even get the Hadouken uh, for Mega Man. And if you guys didn't know that, yes, in Mega Man X, Mega Man can get an Hadouken. Or X, you know, gotta be politically correct. X, his name is X. X could get a Hadouken from Street Fighter that is a one touch kill, which is awesome. But he always gives me a problem. This last form of Sigma always gives me a problem. I don't know, I'm not saying that I can't beat it, because I could definitely beat it, but he gives me a problem. This is the second part. It's pretty cool. I love. I love how Sigma looks in this in this picture. Okay, he looks like he's like, "Hi, how you doing? I'm here. My name is Sigma." It, it's just funny. I've always thought it was funny. Like I've always thought it was funny. 
So that's the fold out. Once again, the box is pristine, just like all the other ones, the Street Fighter 1, the Mega Man 2. The box is pristine. You could feel the, 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 the Mega Man X text in the front. You could feel, where is that Mega Man logo? The, here we go. The 30th uh, Mega Man uh, anniversary logo, you could feel that. It is really, these boxes are really, really good. I'm a little upset because I have a little dent here in my corner. I'm pretty sure that that was not here. That was over there. Come on, man. That's a little upsetting that I got a small dent right here. Yeah, I'm that. I'm that like weird, guys. I'm a little tight that I have a small dent on this corner, but see the other corners here are fine. Why well, I gotta get a dent on this one? <sighs> okay, let's pop this open again without messing up the box. Uh, lovely. Lovely, like a glove. Okay, so oh look, the inside is baby blue in this one. So in the NES, it's a yellow, and inside the Super NES one, it's a baby blue, which is cute. Okay, ah, uh, and I didn't get the limited edition one. I got the regular one. It's okay. It comes in the same plastic or well, cardboard feeling, just like all the other Super NES games that came back in the day and in the Street Fighter one that they did. Uh, so we got a manual, but we'll get to that. We got a poster, excuse me, a poster, we'll get to that. We got another poster which seems to be like from Mega Man 11, so we'll get to that. We got one of these postcard things that you send back and you used to get a prize back in the day. Every game used to come with something like this. You used to fill it out, mail it, and they used to bring you a prize. I don't know if this actually works. And I'm definitely not gonna try. I'm not gonna do it, and I'm gonna keep this here. But that's pretty cool that they, they're trying to make you feel like you're back in the day. Thank you, ambulance. The ambulance just went by. I love it, I love it. So they're making you feel like you little kid again opening a brand new Super NES game which is pretty cool because we don't get none of these in games anymore. All these like special stuff, posters and manuals, I used to freaking love all that stuff. So let's look at the game, it also has a plastic over it, uh, gotta keep that because I'm also gonna keep that. Uh, it has the dust cover like every Super Nintendo game has. Uh, so this is the cartridge and this is the back once again it doesn't say Nintendo here it says uh, legacy cartridge collection and yes like I said I didn't get the special one this is the regular white one uh, the another ambulance the ambulance is the block is hot today you hear that you hear that Wow Let's all let the, let's pause and wait for the ambulance. And that was Popo. Like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. I don't want to say that. I'm pretty sure they had an emergency to go to. So let's be happy that they went back. Uh, this is not the limited, uh, the limited one. The limited one, I think, is also like a translucent blue and is glow in the dark. So I didn't get that neither. I've bought three different ones so far. I've gotten the Street Fighter one, didn't get the glow in the dark. I got the X-Men, the Mega Man X one, didn't get the glow in the dark. I got the the, the the Mega Man 2, didn't get the glow in the dark. My luck is kinda crappy. Come on, I am 8-bit. Be my friend. Oh well, it's still cool to have this though. Uh, the cartridges are clean, They're like the pins are clean. So this is pretty cool, I like this a lot. So, if you guys didn't order it, I don't know if you guys could still order this, but this is what you got. These are what you got. Those are the things that you got. Let's go look at the manual for, let's put this right, right here. So we saw, say, we, we, we saw this, let's look at this poster. I already know what this poster is, the Mega Man 11 poster. Which 
shows levels to Mega Man 11. Uh, we be doing, we will be doing a gameplay for this. Hopefully, I can get the the Amiibo edition one, and if I get the Amiibo edition one, I will be doing an unboxing for that as well. So stay tuned for that. We have the the Mega Man X and the Mega Man Legacy Collection poster. So that's pretty cool. So far, I've gotten almost every Mega Man game that came out so far. Uh, we got another poster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to mess that up. It got, got stuck. Want no wrinkles. So this is the poster that was within the flap of the box. And just like I said before, look at Sigma. Look at Sigma. He's saying, hey guys, I'm here. Hi. Yeah, it's me. Sigma, how you doing? Hey, hey, Sigma here. I think that's just funny. He just, I just think he looks funny. Uh, this also here in the back, the same thing, like the little poster thing, a little poster thing. Uh, you send something back. What do you send back? You fill, you fill this out and you sell it and you send it back and they gave you like a prize. I don't know if that's true. I'm not gonna really do it, but. I don't know if that's true. I think that's just for nostalgia reasons, which I still think is pretty cool. Uh, and the manual. The manual has the same poster <laughs> with <laughs> Sigma in the front. Uh, you have a old school. And what I love is that the posters have like the old school drawings uh, from back in the day, from the actual game, which is yeah. Look at that. Po look at that picture. You got Mega Man X with all his armor and Zero. Freaking awesome. Oh, oh, this is the Hadouken I was telling you about, you see? I'm pretty sure everyone knows this, but just for the people that didn't know this, yes, in the game, you have to do a lot of special things, but Mega Man, or X, Mega Man X, he gets the Hadouken from Street Fighter, and it's a one-touch kill. So I, I think it's pretty cool that they actually put this here. Now, what I'm understanding from this manual is a complete, like, go through of the game they went through the game and it's gerard uh from the completionist and i'm pretty sure you guys know who gerard is gerard the completionist he has a youtube channel with a lot of followers or a lot of subscribers and he completes video games and he's i'm pretty sure he's completed this video game a couple of times so he gives you like tricks and stuff like that see forward by gerard the completionist so you go through the whole thing and this manual I'm pretty sure is done by him and it goes through like tricks and, and tips for the game, which that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, see, it goes through like the diary of what's going on story-wise of the game. I just love having manuals. It goes through weapon system, power system, very in-depth information for the game. This is the reason why I love manuals. Pretty cool. I love that picture. I love, I love that picture. Matter of fact, this is a funny picture. Why? I'm gonna tell you guys a story very quick. When I was in the third grade, right? This recently we got this game. Um, I used to get uh, vocabulary words every week, and in the end of the week, we took a test for the vocabulary words, and clearly you had to pass the test. But another thing we did by the end of the week was that. Uh, we would have to create a drawing and within the drawing we had to write out the our vocabulary words and the best uh, uh, the best picture the best draw the best what am I saying the best picture the best person that drew the picture got a prize in the end of the week so I literally I wish I had that picture still I actually drew this picture like you know I'm not the greatest artist but I I, I'm pretty good. I'm, I, I, you know, I can hold my own. And I literally drew this picture, and I had the, the vocabulary words within his armor. And one of the vocabulary words was shooting out of his X Buster, you know. And uh, I actually won that week, and I got my prize. I don't remember what the prize was because that was a long time ago. So, little story there. Little story there. Okay. So, this is the unboxing. These are the two games you get. Pretty, pretty good. These are the boxes. Please, guys, if you're buying this to play, I don't know why would you do that. Like, again, you could get 
these a lot cheaper than these. Like, this is collectors. You don't, you're not gonna buy this. Again, I've already got special boxes for them. They're gonna be put in that box. They won't be touched. They'll be put on display. And if I wanna play the game, I have them here. Okay, guys. With that being said, if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know if you guys got both of them. Maybe the Mega Man X one, maybe the, the Mega Man 2 one. Let me know which one you guys got and how do you feel about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you like the fact that you paid $100? You thought it was worth it? Did you not think it was worth it? Let me know down in the description down below. And with that being said, please, 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 do not forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe. I try to put out a video every other day to sometimes, you know, whenever I get a chance. Most of the times it's every other day. Um, also, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. All the links, all the links, all the links to my social media are down in the description down below. So check it out. Follow me. I follow you. You know, you subscribe. I subscribe to you. We all follow each other and it's a family. I call it the Nimbus family. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Gaming with Nimbus. Deuces.